Danny Brown, the album is called You Know What I'm Saying. First reaction. Let's go. Track one, change up. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy album, bro. This is gonna be top five tier for sure. I'm already feeling it, bro. This is gonna be it. Damn, that was a great intro, fantastic instrumental, and the reason I'm actually reviewing this album is because Danny Brown is that man. I've been looking forward to listen to the new album for a long time now, and uh, his last album, A Trust Exhibition, that was that dropped in 2016, was so fire that Danny Brown became, you know, one of my uh, well, let's say top 15, top 20 rappers in the game for me, uh, which is, is still, a, you know, says a lot about him because uh, I have a long list of artists that I like, you know, and him being in top 20, for example, it's a major thing. Honestly, Danny Brown, he has his unique style, it's completely different than other people. Uh, psychedelic rap is just completely out of a box thinking I always admired his music he's he's just incredible I personally didn't want to react to any album or song at this point for now uh, and you saw me actually be absent on YouTube for a month or more than a month uh, and the reason for that was uh, actually I'm trying to make something new uh, I'm trying to work on new content while I wasn't really unfortunately focused on doing that i've been working on other things uh, like outside of youtube realm uh, however i actually want to push myself forward to making different kind of content i was actually thinking to like stop doing music reactions altogether um, at least for this time and um, me sort of coming back for this album and reacting i just couldn't resist that's all I'm gonna say. I couldn't resist because this is Danny Brown. I really wanted to react to this album. I, I could have come back with Kanye West's new album as well, or Post Malone's new album as well, but uh, with Post Malone, uh, at that time, I like I said to myself, for sure, I'm like, I'm not gonna do YouTube for, for now. Uh, in, this, in this type of version, I'm doing it right now. So I'm gonna stop doing videos like that. So I'm not coming back with Post Malone. And, um, then uh, and post malone like honestly like you know my attitude like i'm not really like pro post malone guy <laughs> to be honest um but it was so though a big release uh, that's why i was thinking to react to it but maybe it's better to that i didn't because i'm pretty indifferent to the uh, to the new album to be honest so, I, I know and i always have been indifferent to, towards post malone's music um this Kanye West release it just didn't happen Jesus is King still delayed uh, I'm crying uh, I was laying on this bed for two days crying uh, severely <sighs> that when I discovered that <laughs> the new album is not dropping but Danny Brown actually dropped his shit so I want to listen to the album you deserve an explanations why I have been missing there are people who like this content and um, you know, there I remember people uh, praising me and saying, uh, "Wow, like you're the best uh, music critic, uh, music reviewer out there," um, and I really like watching your videos. And I'm and I and I'm so happy that I was able to achieve that. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like I just want to move forward with like my creativity and stuff. I feel like I can do more. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm doing this for two and a half years. Like in terms of followers, let's say I have only like three thousand, which is, I mean. Like if we're not comparing to big channels, it's good. Like 3,000 people following the one guy. But at the same time, uh, I cannot do, I cannot make a living out of it or can make, make, cannot sustain myself with only YouTube if I wanted to go 
full-time YouTube and I want to go full-time YouTube. So I gotta find that niche and like type of videos that will attract this type of people. And with the, with the music reactions, it's, it was never about that. Uh, and in the future even, it's not gonna be about that to be honest. Like with the music reactions, it was just my hobby. I really love music. Uh, with uh, new type of content, it's all all still gonna be related about music. It's just different type of content, not really like reaction videos. Uh, just trying to do something different. It's still f my hobby, but I feel like if I'm gonna push myself to do better quality videos and different type of videos, then maybe you know more people will come and uh, you know then maybe I will be able to actually not only have fun for nothing, but also have fun and get money out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, we'll see how it goes. But you deserve an explanation and I hopefully uh, was able to explain it to you. But now, Daniel Brown, fuck yes, track two, theme song, let's go. Take my hand and dance with the devil. Oh boy, you in trouble. Right on the line, the game's cross. So I'm back on that shit. Catch another body, but a song getting made. Shows like the Rockets with some major rest. Give me a mic and let me take it on set. Shut these bars and some blood nicks. No child support. Yes. Sort of like the bad boys up against George. Bruh. Nigga, you ain't scoring. Ah. Uh. Me. Hope this one don't find me. R.I.P. to P. Track three, Dirty Laundry. I've, I've heard this song before. It's a single. My brother loves it. Everybody loves it. I get dirty. Sleep with the beast. Daniel will rise then. What? Fuck a bitch two times, call it deja vu. Actual change. Bro, I have nothing to say. Honestly, I forgot how to do music reaction videos. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything for a month when it comes to YouTube, right? And whew, it feels like I'm out of shape. You have to always upload and upload because if you stop doing that and you want and you come back it feels like you came from summer vacation it's like you when you're like you remember how uh you are at school like in in may for example you know how your shit you know how what to do but then summer vacation a eh, summer vacation summer like break and then you come back in september to to school and then you now you cannot even write anything <laughs> like, because you're so out of shape your hand like what the fuck are you doing like what is this like when you're trying to force me right to write it um it feels like that honestly god damn uh, i have no comments other than the fact that daniel brown daniel brown daniel brown uh is shining keeps shining it's different than the trust exhibition the trust exhibition was so crazy it's insane it, it was just insane it, it's like what kind of noises are happening it's like and how can you even like make music out of those sounds and noises but it was working so well and it was just insanity but this one is like more it, it's still sort of psychedelic i wouldn't call it psychedelic it's just different kind of rap it's sort of like more abstract like uh experimental rap that's all uh but it's really cool it's really cool i love the sounds and i love the instrumentals like the like like the, all the all the sounds that are uh, happening in this uh production is crazy it's insane 
uh, track four, Three Tears, featuring Run the Jewels. It's better than you are, but you are the son of a whore. My dad told me that your mom was something mean on her knees, but thank God we ain't related because she swallowed the seeds. And I'm a P-I-M-P in my own rhyme. Space age guy, I'm thinking how the case with mine. First, I didn't know how to feel about that track. I actually was not really liking it, digging it, but then later, actually, I started to like it. And I like the fact that um, the rapping was actually really good. Uh, I mean, no doubt the other tracks, when it comes to rapping, the flows, the lyrics were great. Uh, but Randy Jules, I think, Killer Mike uh, specifically, he added uh, that flavor. It was interesting to hear another lyricist on the track as well. Uh, other than Danny Brown, so um, and them sort of like going back and forth, um, I liked it, and I and I thought like the Killer Mike's energy was actually really dope. Um, yeah, he was shining for me. He was shining on the track. Uh, Belly of the Beast featuring Obong Jayar, track five. Let's give it a listen. Abong Jayar remind me of uh, Wyclef Jean and Burn the Boy, you know, artists like that. Bro, I think the Pharrell Williams produced this because there was this four beat start. And the Pharrell always does that. Um, maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. But somebody crazy producer, <laughs> some crazy producer did this. Track six, Savage, Nomad. I can't tell you what the songs are about at all. I don't know what's the concept. Like, I gotta be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> like, if there is, it probably is. But all I can detect is pretty much some pretty cool lines here and there. For example, there's this um, line. Uh, what was it? Uh, I ignore a whore like an email from LinkedIn, <laughs> like that was, that was funny, that was clever, you know what I'm saying, or, or like my resume could kill a bitch, dealt with so much pain that I don't even know what feeling is, it's um, like here, for example, this line, it shows you like the dark side of Daniel Brown, Daniel, why Daniel, Danny, Danny Brown, you, you, you see how, um, well, we know from a trust exhibition, for example, or even his older albums, like old. Danny Brown takes a lot of narcotics. He used to be in high state of mind all the time. Uh, sort of like a Snoop Dogg protege, I would say. But in his case, it's, like, it was more serious than marijuana. Yeah, like he, he was going through a lot of shit. But now on this album, you know what I'm saying, actually. He is sort of... Um, he's more healthier, actually. He... he he took time to actually let them go and um, live a better life. And with this sort of bright album cover, you can see that like he's 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 doing better. He's doing better. Track seven, best life. <laughs> This beat is so good, incredible, and uh, and Danny Danny kills it all the time. 
Cause there ain't no next life So now I'm trying to live my best life Living my best life Smoke the words on my phone You detect the cry and yell out turn Not supposed to be Awesome. Uh, just f forgot to tell you that uh, Q-Tip produced a lot of these tracks. I discovered him <laughs> because of Fergie's song, A, a Little Party Never Killed Nobody, <laughs> <You know? laughs> from Great Gatsby. Uh, I think it was the first time I actually saw this, this dude, and then I later discovered that it's a huge, huge, huge deal, actually. I learned since then, I learned. Uh, track 8, you know what I'm saying. Featuring a Bong Jayard yet again. Let's see. Pro. Again, again, like, if Pharrell Williams is not producing this album, at least tracks, uh, was it six? Yes, yeah, Savage Nomad, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm doubting my ears right now if Pharrell Williams is not on these tracks, honestly. Like, because this is his job, like, for sure. This is his style. What I'm saying, would she, you the best, no less. Know what I'm saying? I'm a broad like Tiger Woods, who white frogs off for his Track 9, Negro Spiritual, featuring JPEG Mafia. I really love the JPEG Mafia part, to be honest. So cool. Inside dark Track 10, Shine, featuring Blood Orange. Oh my god, this instrumental, bro. Last track, Combat. Okay, and that's the end, Danny Brown. You know what I'm saying? Look, this guy with a trust exhibition, with, you know what I'm saying. This albums, they're not following mainstream at all. He's just doing what he wants to do. And I feel like that too. When it comes to my videos, for example, I, um, the upcoming videos actually, even if I talked about like views and followers, I want to do just what I want to do, and the video is gonna look like the way I wanted them to look like. So I'm not gonna follow the trends or whatever. I just want to put something that belongs to my heart, put it out there, you know, and um, see if something will resonate with you. Um, and um, yeah, we're just gonna keep it like that. The videos are gonna be like, um, I would say like short films. And uh, essentially it's gonna be stories that uh, from my life, I would say, some of them will be 100% real and about me. Some of them maybe just like about universal topics, something else, just, it's just my opinions on it maybe. Uh, but it's gonna be structured hopefully in an interesting way and uh, I just want to add my flavor to those kind of videos uh, do different type of videos like uh, this ones and um, hopefully you will like them now it will take time though <laughs> and again like I don't know even how like fully like do them yet but again I want to just push myself and hopefully uh, learn uh, this right now is a comfort zone for me but i want to push myself and do do new things um when it comes to danny brown's new album really loved it um i wouldn't call it awesome tacular there are some tracks like belly of the beast for example i wasn't really a fan of um and 
overall i feel like atrocious exhibition for example is a better album for sure because it's so groundbreaking so pushing the envelope pushing the limits of a music listener like when you when you press play on the album it's fucking insane it's just crazy like you don't understand what's happening but oddly for some reason like you're inter you're intrigued and you want to listen more and then once you listen to it more and more you actually start to like catch the patterns and then eventually you can you're liking it but um here this was more like a traditional album meaning like uh all the sounds uh, most of them we heard of them before um and it's gonna be easier on the ears of a hip-hop listener you know what i'm saying these are dope beats uh still you uh you know crazy still good um but it's not groundbreaking you know and um some people some people might be disappointed uh, with this album some people who never heard the trust exhibition and heard this album first or you maybe you are the one who heard this album the first time in your, in your life heard, heard Danny Brown first time in your life and you like this album you might be going like oh damn I really love this album let me go back and listen to a trust exhibition now because you Bob are suggesting that that album is even better but you will be probably disappointed at a trust exhibition because this one was your first love this was what made you get into Danny Brown. So, a trust exhibition is gonna be looking like a complete weird album, and I don't want to deal with it kind of album. <laughs> maybe, maybe you know. So it all depends. But for me, yeah, um, trust exhibition, and then this album. This album is good though. This album is really good. Still, uh, hip hop lovers will gonna love it. I love it. All right. Um, when it comes to being top 10 in my list, we'll see, we'll see. I was wondering if it's gonna be top five, but I'm not sure about top five. Top 10, maybe, for sure. Uh, the list is gonna be at the end of the year, in December, I'm gonna create, come up with top 10 of 2019 albums, top 50 favorite songs of 2019. I will be able to present them to you and you will comment your favorite picks. And when it comes to this situation in music reaction videos, uh, please don't be upset because I'm excited about the future videos. I'm frightened because I don't want to fail and I feel like I'm gonna suck at the beginning, but I feel like at the end of the day, I'm gonna be able to create like much better videos and it's gonna be awesome. Um, so yeah, looking forward for the future, hopefully you're gonna stick with me, um, click the notification bell to not miss any new videos when I will drop them, let me know in the comments below what you think about all this, thank you very much for watching, I always appreciated you and I always will, I'll see you guys in the next one, hit the like button, <laughs> subscribe and goodbye.